Whether you operate one forklift or thousands, one location or hundreds, the new My Toyota customer portal can help you optimize your operation and material handling equipment. This one-stop, free-to-use platform is designed to help you take control of your information and make smarter decisions, all at the touch of a button. Register and access your data today at my.toyotaforklift.com. That's my.toyotaforklift.com. With e-commerce off the charts, many small and growing warehouses are asking, how can I get ahead when my warehouse is barely keeping up? The answer is future-ready warehouse tech from Zebra Technologies. Warehouses can simplify and upgrade all processes, from automated inventory management to hands-free picking, with Zebra's tailored, scalable mobile solutions. They're simple and intuitive. There's never been a better time to upgrade for success with Zebra. How can your warehouse get ahead? The answer's in black and white. Get the answers at zebra.com slash the answer. That's zebra.com slash the answer. Businesses are retooling fulfillment operations from warehouses to omnichannel to meet new demand amid unprecedented labor shortages. 3PLs, retailers, B2B distributors, and others are turning to flexible fulfillment solutions like Six River Systems to adapt and scale. Six River Systems Fulfillment Execution System is an integrated solution that combines intelligent, cloud-based software and automation, including its autonomous mobile robot, AMR, Chuck. No costly or disruptive infrastructure changes, fast and easy associate training, and integrations with other warehouse execution solutions allow operations to meet labor challenges, increase efficiency, and enhance customer engagement. Go to www.sixriver.com to learn more. Go to www.sixriver.com to learn more. The New Warehouse Podcast, hosted by Kevin Lawton, is your source for insights and ideas from the distribution, transportation, and logistics industry. A new episode every Monday morning brings you the latest from industry experts and thought leaders. And now, here's Kevin. Hey, it's Kevin Lawton with the New Warehouse Podcast here at Modex 2022. We are back in person, and this is the first interview of the week. I am joined by John Winter of Concentric. John is the chief operating officer over there, and you may remember Concentric. We had them on the show previously uh, with Ryan Lynch talking about their material handling power offerings and how they provide those to our industry. So, John, welcome to the booth. Welcome to the show. Uh, you're actually my first in-person interview uh, since Modex 2020, actually. Wow. So, uh, congratulations on that. I guess it's maybe an honor, right? It's special. Uh, so, how are you doing and, and how are you feeling to be back? I, uh, as I said earlier, it is just, you, you take these shows for granted. You take right. the in, in-person interaction for granted. And uh, it quickly reminds you when you're back and you feel the energy and uh, excitement oh, yeah. around, around the industry and just being with one another. So uh, just I'm doing great, excited mm-hmm. about the week and excited to just uh, spend time with you know, various people in our industry. So. Definitely. Well, happy that we could be your uh, first stop this That's week. Right. Thank you for that. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, Concentric, what it is you guys do, and what, uh, who do you serve in the industry? Yep. Uh, so first I want to just compliment you on the fact that you have this podcast okay. and it's uh, talking about things that really need to be talked about in our industry. There's, mm-hmm. a, there's still a lot of innovation and, you know, the whole warehouse manufacturing, the whole supply chain piece right. needs a lot of attention. And I just uh, compliment you on, on really your investment of your time and energy to bring this to to really the mass uh, mass public. All right, all right. I appreciate that, and, and I'll take it. It's yeah. a, great way, a great way to start off the show. <laughs> so, yeah, Concentric. Um, so uh, I'll just say this, a quick history lesson. lesson. Sure. Concentric has um, only been in existence for five and a half years. However, mm-hmm. the foundation of Concentric is uh, a number of independent battery distributors across the nation mm-hmm. um, that had been in business 20, 30, 40 years. Right. And uh, that, that group of uh, distributors came together mm-hmm. to form Concentric, and we're still on a path of, of 
going through additional mergers, additional a- acquisitions where they, they join our organization. Mm. Right now we're uh, approximately 800 people um, okay. in most major markets across the nation. And, um, you know, as I get into it a little bit more, um, you know, we try to bring a unique perspective to solving customer problems and mm-hmm. we see for today and what they will be, we think, for tomorrow. Yeah. And certainly focused on the motive power space, um, right. help, helping guys with, uh, with forklifts and moving product through the you know, through various warehouses and, and manufacturing. So. Gotcha. All right. So very cool. And and obviously, you know, in the material handling world, power uh, is a thing. We need power. We're, yeah. we're moving stuff around, right? So we yeah. need that power to get it going. And it's certainly been, you know, a hot topic. I will say actually some of the most listened to episodes on the podcast actually have to do around batteries uh, for forklifts and yeah. things like that nature. So, so I mean, why do you think it's such a hot topic and why do you think it's such an important thing right now to be discussing and, and bringing to the attention of uh, those who manage facilities and, and uh, fleets yeah I, what I've seen and of course I've been in this uh, industry for 30 years there was a mm-hmm. lot of innovation for the fir- for the last 20 years right. in the lift truck space okay. and lift trucks have moved you know leap years from an, uh, technology development in the last 20 years mm-hmm. there's what we saw in the lift truck space is now even accelerated in the power space so okay. for you know 100 100 plus years we've been powering lift trucks and powering lots of things with uh, lead acid right. batteries. Now we've got the emergence of different chemistries, different mm-hmm. uh, ways, thin plate pure lead, those kind of things. And I think what you see is, is a hunger for the customer to learn and understand. Right. And uh, so they want to understand, okay, am I making the right decision today? Mm-hmm. And where am I going to be tomorrow? And all that's kind of really sitting under the whole national conversation around energy management and what will become energy storage for really uh, the nation and the globe. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, you know, and then the overall focus on sustainability. So I just think that that has created a lot of interest and power. And and we're really excited about being in this space. We think uh, uh, we we, want to be part of that um, innovation and Mm -hmm. we want to be part of you know, helping solve problems um, and, and bring really new, uh, new innovative ways to, to manage power. So. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's a, it's a good spot to be in because, it, like you said, there's a lot of, a lot of change going around, especially, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, we look at just even our, our personal lives. You know, we're looking at uh, what can I do about getting rid of gasoline right? because That's right. it costs so much money right now. But, um, and, by the way, driving down from New Jersey, South Carolina was the cheapest, I would say, actually. So <laughs> just a tip if you're heading back. Um, so, uh, you know, addressing these issues and, and helping customers understand, you know, the different chemistries you mentioned, all these different things. I mean, obviously, you know, we're working in where houses and stuff like that we, yeah, we're, not, we're not chemistry exactly. majors here right so that's right so how do you guys as concentric how do, how do you help these customers kind of tackle the challenges and and have a better understanding of what the right fit for their operation is so um i'll say this it, being a the largest independent distributor nationwide mm-hmm. and we're continuing to grow for both organically and through acquisitions um that is our specialty. That's our wheelhouse. Right. And, you know, certainly we partner, partner with some of the largest, most innovative um, manufacturers in the country, like Enersys. Mm-hmm. But we are always got our eye on emerging chemistries and technologies. Okay. And we want to bring the right, you know, solution to our customer. Yeah. Um, many people want to talk about batteries, but you also have the, you know, the emergence of hydrogen and what hydrogen is going to mean to power, uh, mm-hmm. you know, electric vehicles. So, um, you know, we have a team there that's fully uh, engaged and in, in learning all those chemistries and technologies and how they apply mm. uh, so that when the customer comes to and says, okay, how am I going to solve this power problem? We try to partner with them and we can get as deep as they want to get mm. into the specifics of the chemistry or why you need to go, you know, lithium is a, is a big, uh, right. all the rage right now. Yeah. We can go as deep as they want. But the first thing we do is we spend time, we don't just do a power study, we do what, the, what we you know, term as, a, as an assessment where we study the entire operation, okay. productivity metrics, the behavior of, of the operators, mm-hmm. the layout of the warehouse, and then we lay in, layer in the power study, and then we build a system that, okay. that, uh, that they can then int- in, in deploy in their, in their warehouse. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, what we're after, and we, we've got a, you know, a program that 
it's, it's kind of labels it called guaranteed power, but ultimately yeah. what we're trying to do is create where the customer no longer thinks about power. Mm. Just like if you were to go in your house, you flip the switch on, yeah. the light comes on, you hit the key in your car, the car takes off, you mm-hmm. know, right? There's no reason that you shouldn't have the same expect- expectation of power. Yeah. And um, so after we do all that assessment, we deploy it and we manage it and have a managed power experience for the entire life of the customer, uh, entire life of the system. Yeah. The idea is a customer to have really a zero downtime experience. And that, that that's how we partner and solve it. And it may be come through one chemistry mm. or it may come through a multitude of chemistries depending on what's the best for the application, most cost effective for the customer. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a, an interesting point there at the end because, you know, you may be thinking like, oh, I'm going to switch my whole fleet to, to lithium, but in some cases maybe you only need to do a partial fleet or, or have different chemistries mixed in as well, like you just mentioned. And and so it, it's interesting, you know, you're talking about uh, making it so that the customer doesn't really have to worry about it, which I think is a, is a huge thing these days, especially with this, the speed at which we're operating. Uh, fulfillment centers are just, you know, exploding, you know, increasing headcount, all these different things. So we want to worry about the operations, right? We That's don't right. want to worry about our forklift battery. Why, why do we want to worry about it? That's not why we're coming to work, right? So so it, it's good that you're, you're pushing to get that as, a, as the industry um, and for your customers to be able to, like you said, just, just walk in and power works, right? And so just like you said, they're walking to the house and the power turns on. That's, that's what you want. You want it to be available. You want it to work. So so I think it's a great offering that you guys are, are having out there for the customer and, and being able to bring that to them. So it's, it's that ease of use because we want to worry about, you know, getting the orders out the door. We don't want to worry about things breaking down or why is this power not, not giving me the power that I need? That's right. Yeah. Or why is it not the, the right power load for that? So so very good thing that you, you're doing there. And, and, you know, one thing I think too as well, when we talk about the the ease for the customers and, and certainly some struggles that they're having now. Uh, we look at things like forklift manufacturers and, and getting different types of products. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we see here at Modex, you know, lead times are are insane. I mean, I know personally for my you know, my other life, uh, you know, I was just trying to get some forklifts and the lead time was uh, 70 to 80 weeks. 70 yeah, to 80 weeks. Right. It's insane, right? So, and part of the reason was uh, the battery holdups as well. So, so how are you guys helping to alleviate some of those lead time struggles and, and helping customers to, to get equipment to themselves uh, uh, quicker so that they can utilize it and, and be more effective? Yeah. So I, I'll say this. Um, today, it, it's, uh, it's kind of thing that's going to give us a little snippet into what the future will, will hold. Right. As you know, with a lead-acid battery, it's mm-hmm. only got so much life in it. Mm-hmm. It's only got so many cycles. And, yeah, you can rebuild it with the capacity. Unless you completely rebuild it, it doesn't come all the way back, right? right. So th- there are options um, with that t- to carry them through, but then there are options also to really to go ahead and replace the power mm-hmm. and replace the power with something that will li- last the life of the next chassis. Okay. Carry over from the, 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 the end of the first chassis and then carry to the second chassis mm-hmm. and build a program that will do so and, uh, and you know help the customer. I do want to come back to... Uh, point where we're talking about with chemistry and technologies. Sure. You know, lithium mm-hmm. is uh, is all the craze, and we have deployed lots of lithium systems mm-hmm. um, across the nation and have for the last couple of years. They're not just you plug them in and you off you go, right? Yeah. Typically, every installation requires some kind of a work and, mm-hmm. and um, an effort. But lithium is not the end, because mm. if you consider the amount of energy and time and focus on batteries and energy storage there'll be other chemistries come down the line and it's our job we see to serve the customer base to bring all those emerging chemistries and technologies and take Mm -hmm. risk out of them right because we need to be taking the risk out of because you know you don't want to be the first guy on the block because you know may have a problem right but um and so if you have uh an overlap with power replacement versus the overlap of, uh, of, of the little lift truck replacement, you need to have all those things at, at, on the table when mm-hmm. you make that decision, right? And yeah. that's certainly our role to do so and help educate the customer to, to, to make the right decision. So, uh, 
Anyway, hopefully that answers your question. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, I think it's a, it's a good point because you, you want to cover all the, the different bases. Like you said, you know, it's not always as simple as just kind of just bringing the, the battery and maybe there's some uh, infrastructure change or something along those lines. So it's good that you guys are able to kind of bring all those different things together and I think give the customer a, a clear picture because I think, you know, a lot of times you see, um, and I've experienced this sometimes where, you know, it's a company is offering you uh, some type of solution, but they're not necessarily uh, being as, as clear or giving that visibility into, you know, what does that fully fully entail? And right. then all of a sudden uh, you're like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You start to go and they're like, oh yeah, well now we got to do this and, and this and this. And you're kind of like, uh, <laughs> like what? <laughs> and then you tell your, your boss and your boss is like, uh, you didn't tell me about that. And I'm like, right. Well, they didn't tell me about that. So, <laughs> so when you get the full picture up front, I mean, I think it's a great thing. So the, the fact that you guys are able to, to bring all these different things to get, together and give a, a full plan for the customer, I think is, is certainly a key um, and a great thing that you guys are doing at, at Concentric. Uh, uh, Concentric. So, yeah. so yeah. Uh, one more point. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So the, if we do our job right, mm -hmm. the customer forgets about us. Yeah. You know, what I don't want to be is just like one of our, my teenage girls. When they get an iPhone, the first thing they want is a brand new one because the battery stops working in a year and a half, right? Right, yeah. So we don't want to have that experience. We want yeah. that to last the, last the full term or whatever it is that we've laid out, mm -hmm. and uh, the customer just forgets about us. Yeah. They turn the light and switch on, and off they go to work, you know? Absolutely, and I think that's the key is is the ease of use and uh, less headaches, uh, certainly for our operations right. managers. All right, so so John, I want to thank you so much for coming by the booth Absolutely. today. Uh, first one for this week at Modex 2022. Uh, so if people want to find out more information about Concentric, how can they do that? Yeah, just go to our website, concentricusa.com. All right, great. We'll put all that information at thenewhouse.com as well. So John, thank you once again for coming by the booth thank today. You. Enjoy. Thank you so much, Kevin. been listening to the new warehouse podcast with kevin lawton subscribe and check us out online at the new warehouse.com thank you for listening to this episode if you want more content from the new warehouse check out our new video series called all hands on linkedin just search for the new warehouse on linkedin and follow along.